everybody's fished with frogs, um, probably some topwater frogs, maybe even live frogs. I've, I know I've hooked a few uh, toads in my, before and hooked them and caught some fish out, out of them. But have you ever thought about fishing with tadpoles? Now, to think about putting like a live tadpole on a hook, just something seems wrong about hooking that. I mean, I know people do it and uh, I've never done it. It just seems something ought to be a little weird about hooking a uh, hook into a live tadpole. Today I got some tadpoles I'm gonna be using to fish with. I got some Nico tadpoles that um, look pretty neat and I'm gonna use them in a creek, of course, if it's in a creek. Uh, of course, all the Nico stuff's real uh, stretchable and really tough and I'm just gonna hook a hook through it. Uh, maybe try it a couple different ways and see what I can catch out of this creek. Hopefully some nice bass. There's one. Got my first fish. It's not even a bass. Yes, I was wanting to see if this would work. I was very curious about if I'd be able to hook a sunfish or something that bit. Now red breasts have a bigger mouth than a bluegill, but they're shaped a lot like a bluegill. And um, he was able to bite it and get hooked. So that's my first catch. And this right here is where I got it set up right now. I got a small, um, I can't remember what kind of hook this is called, but it's kind of like a circle style hook. And I um, just hooked it in the top and the fish have already been biting on it, but they can pull all they want. They're not going to tear it up. That's the good thing about it. There's one, another little fish, another red breast. So right now the red breasts are being able to get hooked on it using the smaller hook or the small style hook here. That's even a little guy. So that is good news. I know a lot of people would do, don't want to catch those, but I want to be able to catch uh, multi-species fish, not just the bass. Another red breast. Oh, that's a good red breast. Surprised I haven't seen a bass yet in this creek. This creek does hold some bass, some coosa bass and a largemouth. I think maybe spotted bass come up in here too. But uh, so far, the red breast, been tagging. There's one. I think that's my first bass. Let's see if he stays on. Yep, my first bass is a little coosa bass. Oh, he barely was on there. All right. Well, it catches small ones. Let's see if it'll catch anything bigger. Another red breast. And I heard some turkeys uh, earlier. There's a nice feather right there. There's a bunch of turkeys down here, I'm sure. Dude, look how he took this. He took the whole, he got the whole head part in his mouth. Whole hook in there. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, my first good fish. At least I would call a good fish out of here. It's a bass. And it's a coosa bass. Well, it's been uh, taking a little while. I thought I would get a lot more of these. I don't know what's changed. The creek's a little bit different or something. I think it was last year or a year and a half ago we came and caught all kinds of fish out of here and just don't see them this time. But uh, every time I've put a little tadpole in front of a fish big enough to eat it, they're munching on it. Pretty little coosa bass. I'm hoping we can find a few more bigger ones. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see in these weeds where the cliffs are and where the not. Um, the water's starting to get deep. You see all this little moss and area because the water's calm. It looks like it's stopped up by a beaver dam. There's all kinds of little minnows out there swimming around. Maybe that means I'm gonna find a bigger fish. There's the one. There we go. Now we're starting off. Let's get some bigger ones here. Oh, that's a nice little coosa bass. Once again, really took that, uh, took how deep he took it. Get it out. Now we gotta get it out. All right, that little guy, he'd already been munching on something. He had a, a fish or something in its mouth. Whoa, what was that? Something blew up on it as I was reeling it in. I don't know if it was a 
red breast or bass or what? Oh no! My line broke. Oh, it's a good sized fish too. Biggest one yet. And a line broke probably because I just had it stuck in that tree. I was in a hurry to get it back out. Ah, I'm using four pound mono. And man, as soon as I see a good fish, that's when I lose it. Uh, I almost used braided line, but it'd have been really hard to cast that thing around like I was casting it around. Man, well, at least I saw a good fish and it attacked it twice. So I'm gonna tie another one on and keep going. Oh yeah, there he is. Good bass, good bass. Front of here. All right, let's see what we got. Whoa, don't fall in. Nice. Yes, that's what I was looking for. That's a nice little largemouth on that tadpole. I think I, I think that's the same one I missed at one point, but I know there's something in here, at least this big, that broke my line off. All right, that's a pretty good little bass, probably uh, 10, 12 inches long. Nice little bass to catch out of the creek. Oh, another one, another good one. Dude, yes. Same spot. I thought there was something else in there. Good bass. Look at this guy. Same area where I caught that other one. Nice large mouth. All right, get up here. Dude, that's a good bass right there. That is probably close to a pound. Man, that's a nice one. I was hoping to find something like this in here. All right, there's my biggest bass so far, kind of what I was hoping for. Did catch a good um, largemouth. I'm gonna throw him back in there. I got a few more minutes to fish. The little tadpoles here were pretty fun to fish with in that creek. Um, there wasn't a lot of bass, but um, I was only there for like an hour or so, and then it got dark. So I did catch quite a few different fish. I'm just gonna go over how I had it hooked up. I bought these hooks a while back for uh, like wacky rigging. They're little Gamagatsu size uh, one finesse wide gap hooks. And I really like the way they work the best. It's just a, it's just a good enough size of a hook where I was sticking it in like this. And this would probably be the way you would rig it up if you were drop shotting it or something. I had it rigged up like this, the way that um, it doesn't sink very fast. And it would kind of stay towards the top of the water as you notice in that creek, there's a lot of logs in there. I really didn't want it sinking in. But if I wanted to get a little bit deeper, I uh, would probably try using a different hook. A little jig head would be a great way to do it, like the little Ned Rig jig head if I wanted just to sink in or if I was on a little bit deeper water. You could probably even find some kind of straight uh, hook and just hook it in there. But uh, basically, if you just get it tossing out there and just kind of twitching it around, let it sink or just let it do whatever, the bass were coming and they were always biting the head part of it. That was the great part. So they'd come up and bite the head of it and uh, that was the way I was hooking them the easiest. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure I'll have something interesting in my next video.